beautiful bugs welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Brooke today I'm not sure what we're doing because I made it up on the top of my head we are doing a very very bold eye look today and I'm very excited to show you how I achieve this look let's just jump right in so first I'm going to take my elf poreless primer and we are going to prime our eyelids then I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer and we are going to conceal the top of our lids. And of course, blend that out with our Beauty Blender. And this would not be my tutorial without some tape to create a nice straight edge. The first shade we are going to be using in the James Charles palette is this taupey brown at the top. And we are putting that all up in our inner corner from the beginning of our inner corner all the way to the edge of our tape and we are really giving that a good blend. As you can see, I'm using swiping motions to put this into my crease. And I'm making this look very, very dramatic. I'm putting it almost all the way to my eyebrow. And of course, blending out any harsh edges with my fluffy blending brush. Now taking this dark brown in the James Charles palette and putting that underneath where we put that taupey brown to give it a nice gradient. As you can see, I'm packing in this shadow, then swiping motions to blend it out. While there's still dark brown product on my brush, I'm blending that up into the first shadow that we put down. Now, of course, taking our fluffy blending brush and blending those two colors together seamlessly. Now, taking the black shade in the James Charles palette, and putting that all over my lid with a flat packing brush. Kind of creating a cut crease with this black shadow, but we'll also be blending it just a tad, not too much. As you can see, I'm using padding motions to pack this onto my lid. Now taking our fluffy blending brush again and slightly blending this out using scratching motions. Now taking my concealer and a flat packing brush and we are creating our eyeliner, but instead of using eyeliner, we are using concealer. I am also not going on my whole eyelid as you would with regular eyeliner. I'm only going about halfway Now taking this beautiful turquoise blue from the James Charles palette and packing that on to our concealer. I am using a flat brush and just packing that on with padding motions. Removing the tape to check on how it looks and it looks good. Now I'm taking our concealer again and cleaning up the inner corner of our eye and rounding out the eyeshadow that is on the inner corner of our crease. Dipping into the same turquoise blue from earlier and packing that onto our inner corner. I'm using scratching motions to blend the blue with the black shadow that we already have down. Now it is time to do the rest of my face. Now dipping into my 24A Artist Palette and taking this beautiful glittery white shade and putting that, yep, and putting that all in the inner corner of my eye 
like some magical fairy dust. Now dipping in the same colors from earlier but with a Q-tip to do our lower lash line, I'm creating dots with the black shade and the dark blue shade that we used earlier. As you can see, I'm just pressing the Q-tip on my face. Obviously the Q-tip is already round, so it's already creating that circle for you. I did two black dots on the outer portion of my eye, two blue dots, and then one black dot on the inner corner of my eye. Now it is time for lashes and we are done. Ooh, yes, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also click the bell icon down below to get notified every time I post a new video. See you guys next time.